Hi, in this video we're going to look at um, tidying the spreadsheet up. So we've got um, we've done a lot of work on uh, trapping errors and um, removing duplicates and that type of thing. Uh, so we've got um, lots of data now that we can use to start analysing patterns and trends in the spreadsheet data. But we need to move the data that we want to use into a new sheet. So I'm going to show you um, how to do that, mainly using copying and pasting. Um, but we're going to use something called Paste Special. So um, we're going to decide what we're going to need. So um, we're obviously going to need the questionnaire number and we're going to need the questionnaire age. We're going to need the gender, but we only need the uppercase letter of the gender. So we're going to remove some of these columns when we come to do the, um, the, the, the new sheet. Similarly, we only need the preference without the pref. So, uh, but don't forget that these all use functions. Okay, so we're going to use paste special to bring in the values from there. Um, and these last four columns we need as well. So in order to do that, I'm going to create a new sheet. I've already renamed my uh, original sheet, original data. And I did that by right clicking on the uh, the name of the, of the sheet, clicking rename, and then giving it a name, pressing enter. So I am now going to create a new sheet. So I do that by clicking on this little plus here. Okay, and I'm going to double click or right click as you did last time, and I'm going to call this sheet cleansed data. You don't need to use my names, okay, you can use whatever name you like, it just makes more sense to call it something that's meaningful. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go back and I'm going to copy the headings from the top of each column, regardless of whether or not I, I need it. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy it, or control and C. You can know when you're copying something because you get the dancing ants going across the, across the selection. Onto the cleanse data, click in the first cell and press enter. Okay, so you can see that the columns are too narrow to display all the values. So I can either click and drag like that, or I can double click between the columns, which I'm going to do just to uh, make the columns wide enough to display the headings for now. And you can see as I do this that some of these columns are ridiculously wide. Okay, we're going to address that in a little while. So let's start looking at some of this data. So I'm going to need the questionnaire number and the age. So I can go across and bring these straight in. So I'm going to go there and there. I'm going to drag down. So I've selected all the data in two of the columns. I'm going to copy using Control and C or right click and copy. I'm going to come into my cleanse data sheet, click in the first empty cell there and press enter and it brings across all of my data. The gender is slightly different. So on gender, I'm going to use the uh, capitalized gender. So I'm going to highlight the whole column here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to press Control and C to copy, but I'm not going to Control and V to paste. What I'm going to do is to click in the first entry here, paste special, okay, on the little arrow at the side, and I'm going to make sure that I select values. Okay, so you can see that when I click in this value here, that just is an, uh, a treated as a letter M. When I go across to my original data, that is actually treated as a function. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with um, the preference. Let's look at this just a second. So you can see now that I've got three gender columns I don't need. So I'm going to highlight them by clicking on the letter and dragging across. Right click on any of those letters and I'm going to delete those columns that I don't need. Okay, I'm also going to delete the preference too. Okay, so into that, I'm going to delete that column. There's only one column for my preference. I'm going to go onto my original data. I'm going to highlight the preference to data. I like that. Control and C to copy. Come across to my cleanse data. Right click, paste special values. Okay. I'm then going to uh, the other one, two, three, four columns I can copy straight across. So I'm going to come across to here. I'm going to highlight all of those columns, all of the data in those last four columns, like so. Do that again. All the data in these last four columns, like that. Control and C across to my cleanse data. Enter. And I've copied across all of my data. So I've got all my data that I need for my analysis in 
a new sheet called cleanse data I'm just going to tidy the data up a little bit by using some formatting techniques I'm sure you're all aware of how to do this but I'm going to show you just in case there are people who don't know how to do this um, the first of which is a wrapping text because I've got these headings here that are ridiculously large I don't need them to be that wide so if I could wrap the text that means putting the text underneath itself then I can save space so I'm going to highlight the whole heading row I'm going to click on the wrap text option at the top wrap text it looks like nothing's happened but when I start to make the columns narrower and higher you can see that it wraps text underneath um, itself so that's fine that's fine play on console could do with a bit of wrapping there we go this one needs a lot okay so I could take it back to there maybe this one yeah that's fine and this one maybe to there there we go so I've done that so I've got wrapping text I can also send a text and I can I can select multiple columns at the same time uh, not necessarily uh, side by side so for example I could do those two columns if I want to center those values in those two columns which I do okay I've highlighted those columns if I come across and I go on to say for example I wanted to do the number of hours as well if I hold the control key down on the keyboard and then select the other column you can see it's allowing me to make multiple selections that aren't side by side um, so I'm going to use the center button now to center the text so you can see that those are centered I can also center things um, horizontally and vertically so uh, horizontally we've just done so if I click here this allows me to vertically center the headings okay I can also make them bold if I want to um, I can also apply a fill color by dropping down the fill color here so let's say I wanted to shade my headings a gray and I can also apply a border so to apply a border I just draw where the borders want to well, I want the borders to go and I'm going to put all borders on so I'm going to drop the list down select all borders from the borders tool and now I've got borders around my data as well so I've shown you um, a little uh, a few formatting techniques here um, I've got um, table now in a cleansed data format that I can now use to start analyzing my data um, from the original data and I'm sure you can see that that is far easier and far more um, um, more organized than using uh, data in this form so um, so that's uh, just uh, applying some formatting techniques and um, copying and pasting and using paste special to bring in values from different sheets uh, in order to start analyzing data and patterns and trends